Hello, so now we're going to talk about decanting wine. There are two main reasons for decanting wine. Firstly, if you have a very young wine, you can try to give it lots of oxygen, which will help release the flavours. You've probably heard about the expression breathing wine. This can work for all wines, all young wines, including even white wines. It's especially useful for red wines. The second reason for decanting is to try to make sure that you get clear wine away from the sediment that might be in the bottom of the bottle, and that can happen with old wines. Uh, so two very different reasons for decanting. So we'll try the young wine. This is a 2012 Chateau de Pape, which is quite a young wine, so it won't have any sediment in the bottle. It'll still be quite a youthful colour. And with this, you can pour it into the decanter really quite quickly. In fact, you can literally upend it, and that will help increase the surface area that's in contact with oxygen and enable the wine to breathe and the flavours to come out. And that's why this type of decanter is actually probably the best. It's called a ship's decanter because it can't roll over, but it increases the surface area, making a, a disc in contact with the air, and that will allow the flavours to come out. And really, you've got as long to drink that as you have before it starts changing temperature or beginning to go off. It doesn't just need to be expensive wine that can benefit from decanting. Even a, an inexpensive wine, you can sometimes pour through an aerator like this, straight into the glass. Uh, and if at home you've just got a cheap bottle of wine that's very young, you can just pour it from one bottle into an empty bottle and back again, or even into a jug, and you'll find that that oxygen helps the flavours develop. However, when you've got an old bottle of wine, you really do need to decant it. Ideally, it should have been standing up for about 24 to 48 hours beforehand, so any sediments in the bottom, and then you have to pour it very slowly. Traditionally, you would pour it over a candle light, but that would be in the evening, until you first see any sediment coming from the neck and into the decanter, and that's when you stop. And that leaves you a little bit in the bottom of the bottle to have a taste. So you really can't afford to pour any quicker than this. And you can see this nearly 30 year old wine is a nice uh, amber, tawny color, uh, the sign of age. But the bottle was pretty full, so it should still be in good condition. Now I'm starting to see bits, so that's where I stop. And you can see that in the side of the bottle where it's been lying down, there's a stain and there are bits in there. That last little bit, about half a glass, you can pour through a filter, a tea strainer, a gauze or a coffee filter paper. Uh, and that then becomes, it's called the waiter's share. <laughs> so you get to try that for yourself. And although this wine doesn't need oxygen in the way the young wine did, it will still benefit from that. But the older wine will tend to fall apart a little bit more quickly. So you really want to do this just a few hours before the meal at, at most, uh, or possibly straight ahead of time. Whereas a young wine, you can decant several hours beforehand and it will benefit from it.